Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I've got too many. <laughs> Didn't get that one. All those threads have wool through properly. That's it. I am halfway through the. This is the bag for um Janet. I'll pull that out in a minute. It now measures, where's my tape measure? There. It's about 12 inches across. The other little one I did, this is the little one. Got hairs all over my jumper of my hair. Put that together here. Uh, that's the difference in the um the size. This is just a small one for a, you know, like a toddler, and this is for the older one. So I'm going to do just a little bit higher than this one. This one is. Well, I measure it from the um this part in the middle of here because it's slightly lower than the side. Because you to bring the side up a little bit for to put the handles on. But this is the side I measure it from. So it's seven inches, uh, this part from down there, there is seven inches and this one is nine inches. So this one's nine by seven. So this one probably be about eight. That's 12 and eight inches. So I've got another two inches to do on the um, the height on this and then I'll put the, um, the handle on. Then I'll do another one the same, but I'll probably pick some different colours because I'm just using odd balls that I have in my um, bag for to do it so that one will not take too long and then the other one will not be too long either. then I'll be able to send them to down to Janet and I'll let her know when they're, um, they're finished and I have been busy with Sammy <laughs> Sammy has a little sweater now so I think Sammy's a little boy today no, all that wool over there it's put that down there so i'm saying sammy's a little boy today because i've done a little just little sweater these are just using little odd balls out of my little bag here yeah, it's going down a little bit this this one so i had enough to do um the little bit the yellow around here and round the cuffs and I put it round the neck. I've done a couple of little rows here and there. I've done like um, stripes but with a garter stitch bit in the middle here where I've changed colours to give it a little bit more effect. But the um, the neck, that was all I had. I only had just enough to do the, the neck. So I, I wanted really to do at least another row but I didn't have enough so I had finished it off on just three rows on the um, the neck instead of four. So that's one little little set and I've made the little pants here. I've put a little a little cord in to, to tighten them up around the waist because every time I picked them up I was pulling the pants down. <laughs> and you can see I haven't quite finished it. There is a little bit to do here. This is the opening. I've left all the whole seam all the way down there. You can see better on there. I've left the whole seam open down all the way there and I'm just going to crochet just one little edge and put a couple of little loops on and put a couple of buttons on the other side. I've just stuck a pin in there to keep it together at the moment but I'll do that later on because I just wanted to get it on the um, the doll. And I have to say cardigans are much easier to get on dolls. <laughs> I had... I couldn't have made just a small, I don't think I could have made just a small little opening down um, there because you have to be with the, the doll and that, you know, the big head and all that. You have to have um, plenty of room for to get the um, the head on. So I think if I was doing any little baby sweaters, I think I would do the same because I think it's much better just having a little a little seam down there instead of a one down the middle of the um, the back. So that's Sammy. The next little... Thing. I'll probably do a little hat for him. Um, I haven't any of these colours left. I've got a little bit of this um, purple and I've got a little bit of grey but I don't think I've got enough to do um, for to make a hat so I'll probably have to hunt through my little bits and see what I've got to make a little hat 
for him and then I'll probably make a little jacket so we can put a jacket on top of the um the little suit and then I'll probably do a little set for a girl so it'll be your boy one day and a girl another day so that's that's Sammy sorted for now but I was when I find my crochet hook I have been doing a little video for my putting it on my other channel I haven't sorted it out yet I'm going to um to upload it when I get it sorted out and it's to show people whether you're on a laptop a tablet or a phone how to find the links for my shops because I have an Etsy shop and an eBay shop and there's also a link to my other channel on there where you just click on those links and it takes you straight onto the either the channel or the shops and there's a link for my um, PayPal for anyone that wants to make a, um, a donation for anything anytime and I've had loads of people keep asking me how to get onto my shops or how to get onto my PayPal and and I keep telling people that the the links are on the top of my channel they just have to look there but if you're on a tablet or a phone you can't see those links you have to click on the about information part on the um the video but there is a little arrow further down that if somebody clicks on it it takes you straight onto the um the information part and where all the links are in the information on my channel so i've done a little video and showing videoing the actual actions what you have to do to um to get it on so when i sort it out i'll put it up onto my other other channel and i might put it up on this channel as well for because i get people asking on both channels for these things and it's a bit awkward trying to explain something you know it's easier to show to show it but anyway i'm getting a little bit crochet done i haven't got anything done on my own yeah, because I wanted to get that little, little, that little sweater finish for um, for Sammy. Now I get a little bit confused sometimes when um, I think it depends which country you're in. Because in the UK, we call this is a, a sweater. People call it a sweater, but we call it a jumper in the UK. So if anybody asks for me for a jumper, I know what they mean. But I get people in the United States and Canada ask for sweaters. And I think they mean jumpers. But they call cardigans sweaters as well. So sometimes I get mixed up when anybody's asking me about sweaters, if it's not in the UK, because I don't know whether they're asking about a cardigan or a jumper. So that's just a little bit of information for anyone that wouldn't understand what us in the UK have our own words for um, for things but um, a sweater to us in the UK is a jumper which is what we call these this is the it's like a slang name for sweaters it's jumper but sweaters are jumpers in this country and so I hope people take note so when you ask for a sweater or if it's a cardigan you're asking for, ask for a cardigan. Don't ask for a sweater, because I don't know what you're talking about sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, I had the... I was at my granddaughter's yesterday, but um, before I went to my granddaughter's yesterday, I had there was a knock at my door, and there was a young girl next door with a little with a little girl. A little girl called her Berry, and she's about... I'm not sure whether she's quite four yet, or whether she's just turned four. But I was talking, she knocked on her mother, was asking me um, if I'd seen her cat because she was having a bit of a problem trying to find her cat. And I said, well, I see it now and again in my garden, but I don't know. But apparently it had been um, attacked by a dog and she couldn't find it. She didn't know it was okay or anything. And So I said I'd keep an eye um, out for it. But a little girl, Berry, where she was playing up and down on a scooter thing in the garden and she's asking me, she said, do you have children? I says, yes, I have children. Why? Can I play with them? I says, well, my children don't live here. Why? I says, because they're grown up. 
children and they've got houses of their own and I says they're in their own house so they're not here but she says but I've got nobody to play with and you know when she said that it made me think this little it's like a horseshoe crescent where I live there's quite a few houses around this horseshoe and there's no she's the only really young child all the rest are all like teenagers oldish teenagers and that she has a little brother eight year old um brother but uh but she was asking she was asking me she says well when are your children coming here i say well they only come when they feel like it and i say they won't be coming to play with you because they're too big i say so i say my children i say they're older than your mom she you know what funny look on her face and she says but children should live with their mom i says well our children but they're old children they're not little children like you but I says, my great-grandchildren are here now and again, so I says, whenever they come, I'll tell them to go and knock so you've got somebody to play with. But I felt so sorry for that little girl because she's, she's right, there's nobody for her to play with around um, here. But I think she does go to nursery and things like that during the, um, the day and that, so she's probably quite happy during the, um, the daytime when she's in the nursery with other kids to play with. But when I first moved here, this horseshoe crescent where I live was full of kids. There was loads of kids and my granddaughter and my grandson used to stay with us every weekend and they played with all of these kids. There used to be a, a train going round the green. There's a big green outside the um, the gardens and they used to have a big train of little girls with their doll's prams walking round this green and the boys on their bicycles and... But all of those kids have all grown up and left home now, like like I'm seeing my granddaughter's 33, so it's a long time ago when they were, um, were little and we've had one or two more move in. But this young girl next door to me now is the only one with any young children that's moved in and uh, the rest of us are all, most of us that's left now are all my age, near my age and that. And, so there'll be no no new ones coming in till uh, till till us old ones start passing away, <laughs> which I hope will not be a very long time for me. <laughs> so anyway, that was just a little bit little bit information about how to find my links and just a little bit of what I'm doing. So thumbs up and subscribe. Bye for now.